Hi Leos here with a message, a reading for the sign of Leos. All right, let's go ahead, Leo. This is going to be a freestyle reading, a free form reading. And um, we're going to look at your internal energy and the energy in the environment around you. So let's go ahead and get going now. Internal energy for Leo. Internal energy for Leo. And let's look at the environment around you, Leo, the environment around you. All my cards are in the upright, as you can see. So if they fall out and swirl into the into the reverse, I will keep them in the reverse. Otherwise, they are uh, mostly in the upright. Ten of Cups there in your outer environment. One more energy, one more energy here. All right, I am going to be digging deeper in this reading. I do usually dig deep in my extendeds, and there will be an extended reading. I will decide as I move through this reading what the extended reading will have, and I will let you know before I move over to it. Um, let's first go into the energies uh, within you, your emotional energies, the energies uh, that are your own energies of, of your, that are energies of your own. And then we'll go into the environment, the situation, the event, um, perhaps even the person that's around you. So as we get into these energies, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. We have the Seven of Cups and we have the Seven of Wands. So there is a situation here um, that is your energy. You You could be going through some sort of challenge right now with um you could be you could be being challenged right now with um a water energy that's around you or you could be having some sort of emotional difficulties where you're having a, um instability with your moods with your emotions so one day you could be feeling um inspired about life feeling loving and compassionate towards um, towards yourself or towards your situation. And the next day you could really be feeling the opposite of that. So <clears throat> you could have some, some mood swings, some mood fluctuations that you're dealing with. You could be having some kinds of impatience, um, and how you're feeling about <clears throat> now this does have to do with expression because this is the second time that I've had to clear my throat. And now look, that energy has gone away. So, um, there, there is something here that you are really trying to express. There's something here that you're trying to communicate. And for the time being, or, or um, in, the, in the next week or two, you, you're just working with having patience with that, having compassion for that. Um, whatever it is that you're wanting to communicate, I do feel that it has to do with your love center. It has to do with a heart-to-heart -heart relationship that you have with someone or with your work or with the situation that's around you. And it has led you into a place of feeling quite unstable. So you might not be sure about what you want to do and where you want to go, what you want to do and where you want to go. Um, why do I want to keep saying where you want to go? Where you want to go as you move forward? I've got to let it flow, don't I? I have to work at, at trying and not altering the, the, the words when they flow through me. Um, and, and many of us um, who do this kind of work have to, you know, we, we struggle with that same thing. Um, and even when I'm in this energy, I feel like there's a bit of a stopping and starting. Uh, it, it's even when I'm in this Knight of Cups energy and it's in reverse, there is, it's like I'm even be, feeling conflicted within myself right now. So it is something that's significant that you're going through. Um, I do feel like I want to pull a couple more energies about this because I, I do feel the sevens are here, two sevens. So I do think it's short-lived for you, Leo. It is a short-lived energy. The Nine of Cups. So now we have the Nine of Cups coming in. So I think you're really trying to um, establish what it is that fulfills you. And there's something here that you're working to figure out how to communicate. Um, there is a dream on the table. There is a desire here that you're working towards. And in this 
in this dream that you have or in this wish that you are working to fulfill for yourself, um, it, there could be some impatience here or some even some disappointment that you're working through. Maybe it's not happening as quickly um, as you'd like it to, or maybe it's more difficult than you expected it was going to be, or it's taking longer, or it's more complicated than you expected, you expected it to be. Um, but the Nine of Cups is here. So there is um, a wish here that's on the table um, next to the Six of Swords. So it's choppier than you thought it was going to be. It's choppier than, and here, like I'm looking to make sure they're all in the upright, and they, and they are, they are all in the upright. Here, I just found two. I found two that were in the reverse. I'm just, it's just interesting how these cards are coming out. Yeah, they're all in the upright. So we do have this energy here that is you really trying to connect in with a goal that you've had for a long time. And with the Six of Swords here, oh, the Six of Swords is, is in the upright. Good. I was like, oh my gosh, another one. All right. So the, the, the energies that I've clarified, see how I'm, oh, this is a frustrating energy that you're in. It's, it's like you're questioning yourself. You're questioning this and you're questioning that. That's what I'm doing. I'm in your energy and I'm, I'm questioning what I even see. Leo, you could be in a very questioning time and it could be full of anxiety. You could be not used to this as well. You could be really being pulled to and fro in, in your life where all of a sudden you're feeling one way and the next day you're feeling another way and you could be feeling a lack of confidence at this time. Don't worry, Leo. I think this is short-lived. The energies that clarify this are the Nine of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Death energy. So there is a change coming in for you. And see how the light is shining now on, on this face of this person? I think there's new life coming in here. But this journey hasn't been hard for you. You've really had to give up something now. There has to be, with the Death energy, there's usually some kind of a sacrifice. There's something here that you've had to end or to give up or to let go of and that in in itself is difficult um, it does look like this journey is going to even out for you it's going to smooth out for you your thoughts are going to clear you're going to create some kind of strategy um, that will bring a sense of peace and contentedness to you as you move forward um, and the nine of cups is here this is enjoyment in your experience enjoying life enjoying how you how um how you're moving forward it there's more enjoyment and the word enjoyment 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 is keeps coming out enjoyment in this process so um, i do think that your moods and your stability your emotional stability will um will really balance itself out itself out in the next few days you do have these seven energies and the seven energies are somewhat like the five energies the five energies initiate change and that's uncomfortable the seven energies propel change. So the seven energies are not usually as difficult as the five energies. They propel it. They push it forward. The five energies are the energies that really initiate it. If you have a lot of five energies in a reading, I always think that that's kind of a slow tower, right? It's a slow tower. It's a slow and painful tower. But you have the seven energies here. So you're well on your way. You're trying to decide what you want to do. You, you could have a multitude of options in front of you or some scenarios in front of you that you're trying to figure out um, which one will be the most beneficial for you, which one will be the most successful. Um, and when we have the Seven of Cups, it's an energy of we truly do not know what the future holds. And so it's really hard when you have multiple scenarios and when we, when you have options in front of you um, to really decide which way you want to go. And you could spend some time um, in this energy trying to figure this out. Um, you also have the Seven of Wands here. So um, you're feeling invaded. You're feeling invaded. It's like someone's not letting you alone. They're not letting you alone. They're not letting you figure this out for yourself. This is something that no one can figure out but you. And when I get in this energy, I just want to say, leave me the blank alone. Like it is a kind of an angry energy. I have to figure this out for myself. This is not your journey. This is not your path. This is mine. This is about my happiness now. I claim this. I, I, this is my flag that I'm holding. And I don't care what color it is. And I don't care if it's a freak flag to you. It is my flag. This is, this is the energy I'm in. See how strong it is, Leo? 
because there are some options here that are on the table and no one can really figure this out but you. I think you're really learning here, Leo, to really say, um, I need to make the best decision for myself. And sure, I'll take a few minutes and listen to your opinion. And yes, it can be helpful at times, but there's a point in which I really need to have this time to figure this out for myself. It's a very feisty energy. But I do see you conquering this. I do see you conquering it. Let's see what's here in your, in your environment. Here's another seven. So you have three sevens in this reading. Three sevens. Look up the sevens and see how they resonate with you. There are many, many meanings out there. Um, and I'm not really skilled in that. I just know that there are three sevens, and I think that is somewhat unique. You're being propelled into the future. You're being propelled into change. You start out this reading in the, in the Ten of Cups. You move into the, the King of Swords, then the three of, um, the Three of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. So, what is this, Leo? This is something that's around you that's beautiful and bright. Something that's around you that's quite happy and blissful. The rest of the energies, it's like you're trying to decide. Damn, Leo. The king of, let me just look, let me just get through this. energy. This is a very thick energy. You have a bright and beautiful energy around you. Might be a bright and beautiful opportunity. Something quite precious that's happening around you. See this, this is, okay, I'm going to show you this one. This is the Ten of Cups. We can't deny that the Ten of Cups is here. And it was the first energy that flipped out. And it flipped out in the upright, clearly on the table. And then we start in with these swords. We start in with clarity. We start in with decision-making, finding the truth, confusion, changing the way we believe, ending a period of time that's been painful with the Ten of Swords. So you have two tens here as well. I feel, Leo, that there is something that's coming in for you, something beautiful that's coming in for you, but there's going to be a lot of thinking and analysis about this because I do believe it's going to require a decision to be made. There could be an apology here, a chance for a new start with the, with the rainbow. But I think for this group of Leos, it's, it's going to require some mental deliberation, some deliberation. We have the King of Swords here. Now, the King of Swords energy is an energy of cre um, finding clarity in the overall situation, looking at what the big picture is. Like, okay, why is this happening? What is the reason for this? What is the opportunity that's in this? Why is this happening? right? It's, it's less of an expression and more of a, it's a, it's a sleuthing kind of, it's a sleuthing, it's a discovery, it's an investigation kind of energy. And it's somewhat of a silent energy. It, it's not that the Queen of Swords is about communicating and expressing and protecting. The King of Swords is much more about investigating, figuring out what, what the, the situation is, and then there is usually some sort of a decision to be made. There's some sort of clar clarity or some sort of an epiphany to be, to be gained from this. Um, the King of Swords is looking at this situation. He's seeing and realizing that there has been a pain, uh, some kind of pain and anxiety here. While this is a beautiful opportunity or something quite um, blissful that is showing up for you, the King of Swords also sees pain and anxiety. Um, the King of Swords has had to um, definitely change the way he believes in something, the way he um, 
he's had to really adopt a new knowing, a new understanding. Um, and this has been created because of some sort of painful experience that he, that he has been through. This is all about the mind. This is all about belief and strategy and clarity and having a vision for the future and having a vision, a vision for what life should be for the King of Swords. And whatever happened here for the King of Swords or what's happening here that is painful for the King of Swords, there is some sort of effect. There is a consequence that's happening to the King of Swords where he, whether this is a male or female, this is someone who is taking on a masculine energy of deciding and finding clarity. This King of Swords is changing the way he does something or changing the way he believes in something. So Leos, um, whether you are a male or a female, you're in an action energy of air and you are finding new determinations, creating new solutions for yourself that ends a situation here that's been quite traumatic for you. And there is something new and beautiful coming in. So that's why that the, the death energy is here, right? That's why that there's an ending and a new beginning because we see it here in how you feel about yourself and how you feel about this situation. And we see it reflecting around you in the environment and in what's happening around you. So we see what's happening around you represented and mirrored with what's happening within you. That, that, that is usually the case. So we do have a situation here with the, the 10 of swords that's ending. It could have been quite long and painful. It could have really taken some effort on, on your part to end this as well, because it seems like something happened to you or someone did something to you that created, that was it like a betraying energy or a heartbreak energy. And from that experience, you change the way you are thinking or you change the way that you believed about something and you are moving forward in a different way. Now you're a changed person from this. And because you're a changed person and because you have this new strength, you were able to intentionally take action to end something that was, that was ultimately quite difficult for you. Could have even been ter terrifying for you. Could have been very scary for you what you have been through. But there is something here that's quite beautiful. Let's go into this Ten of, ten of Cups. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. Three of Wands, beautiful. Knight of Pentacles, another really beautiful energy. Higher font, let's get one more. The world. There's something here that you're anticipating coming in, that you're anticipating will be a beautiful solution or a beautiful opportunity for you. You're in the three of wands, so you're anticipating, you're optimistic about it. You're, you're seeing it sort of arrive into your reality. Maybe it hasn't quite shown up yet, but you're seeing it getting closer and closer. There is some real stable progress here because the Knight of Pentacles is here. Now, this could be a Virgo. We, we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, we have a, um, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Taurus again over here. We have Scorpio. But the, but the real progress is being made here. Remember, the Knight of Pentacles does not move forward unless there's sig something significant or unless he or she feels safe in doing so. The Knight of Pentacles does not like to move sideways or backwards. He, the Knight of Pentacles prefers to move straight forward and only if something is secure, only if something is, is ready to be, ready to happen. And the Knight of Pentacles energy does not push forward if, if the, if the universe is not moving with it, right? So 
Um, there is real tangible improvement here. It could be really slow going. Um, we do see that this is something that the, that the outer world is going to support, that the environment is going to support. It fits into the structures of society. So there could be some kind of contract that's being signed, a relationship that's being formalized. Um, you could be finding a job within a large corporation or within a large group of people that have the same mindset, that follow the same rules. Because a higher font is how society works together. What are the rules around groups of people, right? And, and oftentimes the rules and the structure are created by religion. They're created by government systems. Uh, they're created by um, associations and groups of people like that. So whatever is happening here, it fits within society. It, it fits. So um, this group of people or this situation for you is not going to clash. It's not going to clash with the community. It's not going to butt heads with government or butt heads with your religion. It's going to go on, go blend nicely with your situation. Um, you do have the world energy as well. So there is a new expansiveness here. Um, there, there is a willingness now to, to, to step into this. Um, but it, but as there's a new beginning here, that there is always an ending, just like the death energy. The death energy is internal process of transformation and the world energy is an external process of transformation. So again, we're seeing the internal re be reflected in the external energies. Um, it's, it's, this is a, this is such an interesting reading. So whatever is going on here, you're feeling good about this. It might not be totally realized yet or totally actualized for you, Leo, but there is with this Knight of Pentacles here, real progress being made. And if there's any energy that is moving, um, I think especially with all of this pain and confusion and, and heartbreak that's here, the Knight of Pentacles is very well received. Um, I think of any energy when someone is, is looking for stability here with all of this air, um, where you could be quite confused. The Knight of Pentacles is a very comforting um, energy to be in. So I, I think if that's any kind of consult, c consolation, I think the Knight of Pentacles is a very welcome um, experience that, that you're receiving or some sort. You know, this could be a new job coming your way, a new client that's being introduced to you, a, a bonus or a promotion or some money coming towards you in some way that's helping you out and helping you to even feel much more um, stable at this time. Again, the higher font energy is an energy of gaining stability as well, because that's what rules and guidelines and formalities and systems bring to us. They bring a sense of stability. They, they bring systems and patterns and, and um, processes that we can follow. Uh, so this, if this is a relationship that's starting up for you, you could be moving into being in a more formal relationship with someone. If this is a business that you're starting, you could be really beginning to blend your services or your products within the community around you and finding ways of marketing them and selling them and um, really starting to move and flow with the rules and the guidelines in the community that's around you. And this, uh, this, indeed is a new opportunity for you and you've worked hard to get to this place um you've been you have learned quite a bit leo about um um moving through the emotional trauma um the emotional change uh, of of shifting into um into a new level and i think uh, there is a process here that you are going through now to end something and to step into something new so there's an ending here for for many leo people um, there's there's some sort of an ending here and a new beginning starting up and a new beginning here. Let's look deeper into this Knight of Pentacles and see what else we can find here with the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles. The Nine, the Nine of Pentacles. So there is some new independence here, maybe new financial strength, um, new personal strength, ability to make decisions. Um, more money coming in. There's, this is also the energy of being independent and single, um, having a sense of individuality, sense of, of personal freedom. Yeah, I think there's there's some sort of stabilization of money here for many of you with the Nine of Pentacles over the top of the Knight of Pentacles. My deck of Let's see. There we go. Knight of Pentacles, 
Ace of Wands, new action, new excitement, new enthusiasm, new chemistry, new passion. Could be a new job, a new action, a new hobby, um, some new idea that you've had that you're um, now taking action in, a, a new job that you're engaged in. It could have more money with it. It could be bring more stability with it. There could even be travel here or some sort of expansiveness in your, could be travel here and a new expansiveness of that, about how you think about your world or how you think about your occupation, how you think about your presence in the world. There's an expansive quality here. And this is very exciting. Um, Ace of Wands here with the Nine of Pentacles. That's a pretty fun combination. Pretty fun combination. Um, let me look deeper into the higher font as well. Higher font energy. Higher font energy. Ten of pen. Oh, damn. Ten of Pentacles. So now you have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. This is long term success. This is abundance. This is creating a legacy. This is a feeling of security, of safety, of having enough money that you can relax and enjoy life, maybe go on a vacation. This is um, stepping into a large family or a large company that has a, a history of, of, um, of profit and of supporting um, employees in a positive way. This is a long-term improvement for you with a higher font. So if this is a relationship that you're entering. There's a, there is a likelihood here that there will be a long-term, um, long-term success here, a long-term relationship. So we have the nine of pentacles with the world energy with, with, um, what was next to it? The ace of wands. And now we have the 10 of pentacles. And now we have the 10 of swords with the 10 of cups. So, um, we, we have endings and new beginnings here, endings and new beginnings. That's beautiful. Let's look at the world energy. I need to move forward, but this is this is really exciting. Four, four of freaking wands. Okay, this is so exciting. I mean, what what you're going through here is some sort of difficult ending, but there is a beautiful. I mean, I just want to. I, I want to swear. And in this reading, there is like an edge of. Um, there is a, an edginess here, like a, a swearing. There could be a group of people here that use words to help describe how they're feeling, because that's what I want to kind of do. Um, with the Four of Wands, there there is some sort of new commitment here, new stabilization with the Four of Wands, new foundation that's being created. So this could be a very um, beautiful relationship that's starting. This could be a, um, a a business that's being created that's going to be very successful. Uh, this could be a new job that's being connected to that's going to provide um, a lot of ind independence, a lot of personal growth, um, wealth, um, increase in finances, stability where you're feeling comfortable in, in what's around you so that you can take action, feeling comfortable that you will be okay and that you will begin, that you will continue to build and grow. Beautiful with the Four of Wands over the world. I mean, honestly, you guys, this is so beautiful. Let's, I'm not going to, I don't really want to go into these heavy energies. I think you guys know what these heavy energies are. I don't know if it's really important to go into these heavy energies. For those of you that are connecting in, you know exactly what they are. You know exactly what the situation is. Let me see though what the King of Swords says. This is you here. This could be someone in your environment as well. Um, this King of Swords could be someone that's around you who's going through a very difficult time. So maybe first I'll go into the Seven of Swords and then I'll see what the King of Swords has to say. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Five of Swords. There's been some sort of a conflict here. This, this person or you could have been made to feel guilty about something. Could have been a huge guilt factor. Maybe you're making a decision here to bring in something beautiful for yourself. And there's a person or a group of people around you who does not want that. They're thinking only about themselves. And so when you go to create a boundary or to, or to firm up a decision, you might be feeling guilty or self-centered. Um, the messages that could be coming towards you from people that you once liked or, or people that were in your family or something could really be confusing you. You could be thinking, um, it, it, the, 
if, if this is such a beautiful experience for me, why am I so miserable right now? Why are the people around me not liking this? Right. And sometimes when we take, make decisions that help ourselves, the people around us, um, fight back because there's something in their own experience that's going to change, right? They're going to have to change the way they think, or they're, they're going to have to, um, something about your presence with them. Maybe you're not going to be around as much anymore. Maybe you have tasks that you've been doing that they don't want to do. Maybe they have a difference of belief. And so they're coming forward and, and saying, how could you believe that? Or how could you have that understanding? Or, or what happened to you that you believe this way? And you could be feeling diminished. And, and that's where you have to say, this is what I'm doing. And, and in that, in that energy of that conflict, there's a lot of feelings that are very uncomfortable. But let me remind you that they're often very short lived. Um, because the five energies are, are energies that are here only for a short period of time. They're uncomfortable, but they are a short energy. And so if you go into the five of swords energy, it could very well be that after a couple of days of, of sitting in that energy and feeling bad about it, you might have realizations like, oh, you know, this was really a good decision that I made for myself. And after a while, those energies of guilt and, and, um, and, and questioning of yourself start to go away as you start to experience something much more beautiful for yourself. And then it becomes much more understanding of why your spiritual teams led you in this direction and why you had to go through this um, empowerment process. And then you begin to see, oh, now I understand. Now I understand how beautiful life can be. Or now I understand what was not being fulfilled in my in my journey thus far. And I, I can understand why I had to go through that conflict. So that's kind of how the five of swords and the seven of swords work. Look at these very uncomfortable sword energies, the five of swords over the top of the three of swords and the seven of swords. This is a very uncomfortable, petty, angersome situation that no person should have to go through. But for some reason, this group of Leos are going through it. They're finding their freedom. They're on the freedom path with the lantern because it's going to inspire others as well but right now you could feel quite alone you could feel quite alone and you could be feeling very serious about this decision that you have to make if whether you're going to step into this or not and it could feel very deep and difficult for you and you're trying to figure out how to do this how to make this decision how to step forward because there's something here that is coming to an end that's that's difficult. Um, what does the King of Swords have to say? What does the King of Swords have to say? Five of Wands, wanting to end this conflict, stepping away from this conflict. Five of Swords in reverse. You have the Emperor energy here, taking control of your own destiny. This is your life. This is your path. Two of Wands deciding which way to go. So this King, and here we have the Six of Cups as well. So there could be a life partner here. There could be a life path. There could be something that's just really calling your soul. It could be feeling very healing as well. So there's something here that is impacting the heart. That's calling the heart forward, pulling the soul forward. And there's a, there's a change in what you're doing. There's a change in what you're doing or how you're doing it with the two of wands. And this change is probably going to affect the people around you in some way. So it's good to kind of sit in that energy as a king of swords. The king of swords is going to really look at this in a logical way and see, okay, why is this really happening? Um, how can I be fair in this? Um, what are these other people wanting or what is this situation? How is this situation feeling with this, this change that's coming around me or through me? How are the people around me feeling and why are they feeling like this? Is this something that I really need to pay attention to? Is this something that, um, that people are trying to tell me that I really need to listen to? Or is this something that they are doing because they are going to lose something? Are they wanting revenue that I'm creating? Are there are they not wanting to give up um, the benefits and the services that I'm providing to them? 
right? Why are they fighting back about this? Because I think as the King of Swords, you're going to find the truth in that. And once you find the truth in that, you're going to be able to make a decision um, to follow your heart, whatever way your heart is leading you. But I think that there is some sort of necessity to delve into the truth and figure out what the truth of the situation is so that you can have confidence as you move forward. It, in, in all that we have here, the Ten of the ten of Swords is here. So it tells me that this ending is near. And with the Seven Seven of Swords, it tells me that there is a, a change in the way that you're moving forward. There is a change. And it's and this change has been created because of something very miserable that happened to you, um, that you're making changes in your life now and you're coming to an end with it. So there there is a there is a um an alternate way here that that you're truly considering as you move forward. And I think this King of Swords will be able to decide for you which way to go. All right, Leo, I am going to move into the extended now. I am going to move this out into the future to see what happens. So I'll take this Ten of Cups, I'll take this Two of two of Wands, and I'll move this all out into the future. And then we will dig deeper into that and see what people have to say, see what the different options hold, and see how you'll be feeling um, as you move into May, into the middle part of May. So I'm going to be going out about a month, of month, month and a half of time. All right, Leo, um, if you really resonated with this and you would like more information, feel free to move into the extended. The extended is in the comment section and also in the information section below the video. You can find it in both places. Um, and, and my friends, I wish you all the best. Stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you back out here on YouTube in another week or so with another update for Leo. Thank you very much, Leo.